Peggy 12. Hear ye, hear ye, come close, all good folk, to hear the tale of a faraway kingdom in search of a hero. Danger and intrigue await in the realm of The Sims Medieval, the latest adventurous title from the creators of The Sims. Join us as we embark on an epic quest to lift the veil of secrecy on this ambitious game. Once upon a time in The Sims Medieval. Okay. We've come to Redwood City just outside of San Francisco to visit the Electronic Arts Studio and check out the latest in the Sims series, The Sims Medieval. Love The Sims and the Middle Ages? Then The Sims Medieval is for you. That's right, it's The Sims in the Middle Ages with heroes, quests, danger, romance and lessons in kingdom management. Good people of The Sims Medieval, seize this moment and... Oops! The sim speaks Simlish. I forgot. Let's try again. Fabre humer talakur silation. Let's begin. Happily, fluent Simlish isn't necessary to awaken the hidden monarch inside of you, be it benevolent ruler or evil tyrant. All of this in a realistic medieval environment. But why not take a break from ruling to play other characters, squire, merchant, blacksmith, or even a bard if it's singing that inspires you? Hi, my name is Rachel Bernstein. I'm the senior producer for The Sims Medieval. The idea for The Sims Medieval came about because uh, the big fan community and the dev team has always been asking the question of what if. What if we took The Sims to another time period and could tell totally different stories in a completely new setting and have very different kinds of adventures with The Sims? Lots of people are very excited by the Middle Ages. We've all seen a ton of movies and plays and books. It's a very popular time period for the community. For people to be able to create their, their own stories themselves. John Buchanan, Vice President of Marketing for the Play Label here at Electronic Arts. And so no better way to do that than to be able to take The Sims into the medieval time period and create The Sims Medieval. Sounds fabulous. A brand new entry to The Sims family which is set in the Middle Ages is a great surprise. But I think it's time to tell you a bit more about what's in the game itself. We are trying to make a history lesson. We're trying to make entertainment. We want to capture that pop culture idea of what the Middle Ages is. We know that the kings like to execute people, and they might have them burned at the stake, or they might have them sent to the guillotine, and those did not seem like very fun things. When we think about the Middle Ages and medieval games, people's mind immediately goes to a lot of strategy and role-playing games, and we're not making that. We're making a Sims game, but there are elements in strategy and role-playing games that help you tell stories and create a structured world. And also when we think of the Middle Ages, we think of quests. And who says quests says making important decisions? Like when your king falls ill, for a quick fix, send him to the local healer to gulp down a vial of potion or two. Or entrust him to his people, who had a couple of bones to pick with their beloved monarch. Or he could just stop his suffering and hardship altogether and have the treacherous spy assassinate him and put a queen on the throne. Now there's an idea. And zip zip doo zip zip doo and with The Sims Medieval, the idea of being able to tell your medieval fantasies, to be able to create your medieval Sims, just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And you'll have many occasions to prove yourself by launching into epic battles and courageous duels, concocting the odd magic potion, and even by entertaining the population with your liar skills. But what makes this game so excellent? I will tell you that I think one of the things that was that's most exciting about The Sims Medieval is to recognize the passion that the studio has for creating this game. Because when you walk around the studio, you will see uh, pictures and images of uh, the medieval time period spread throughout the studio. And you realize that when you see all of those inspirations, that this team is really dedicated to creating a very high quality experience that is truly representative of that time period. 
here's a recap of what we've discovered today. The Sims Medieval has a bit of everything. Adventure, quests, and a couple of rather strange characters. And everything you love about The Sims is here. The jokes, the love stories, and the cat fights. And so it is here, gentle lady, noble knight, that this first ancient book of Once Upon a Time in The Sims Medieval comes to its conclusion. Join us next time as we take a trip backstage to find out more about secrets behind the game. Yeah, Ruth, Guifern. Monarch to the merchant class to the fight. Zabadu, Aaron Cohen, Dipadu, Bakdi, Grip, Tap. Zuzu, Jill Johnson, Ibuna. <laughs> but our tale is far from over, so if you are of righteous soul and pure of heart, prepare thyself. The second ancient book could reveal itself to you, yes, you, sooner than you think. Until the next time.